Hey everyone, I'm Tyler. And I'm Cameron. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day weekend. weekend! Make sure to tell your mom or any mother figure in your life how much you love and appreciate them for all that they do for you. That's right. Whether it's your mom or your aunt or your grandma or anyone who has been a mother to you, tell them how amazing they are all the time. But especially this weekend because they are so committed to making us better people. Speaking of commitment, this weekend we get to continue in our series about commitment. We are in our second week of our 5K series where we have been learning all about what it means to be committed. And commitment takes practice. We learned a little about that last week, but now it's time to learn more about one of our four ways to practice growing our faith. That's right. We have listen, prayer, talk, and live. This week is all about listening. I'm gonna be honest, listening's a hard one for me. I like the talking one the best. Well then, I guess you'll just have to practice listening to our service today and maybe you can learn something. Ooh, nice burn. <laughs> well, I know we can all learn a little bit more about this, so let's get into service. Hey everybody, how's it going? We are back with another game. Uh, you know what this one is. I don't know what this one is. You send you what is it? It's ping pong pour. That's right. We are uh, ping pong runners and, and pouring. Oh, runners edition. This is yes, runners five k. Yeah. I don't even like running half a k. <laughs> I don't like running any k's. Same. I don't even like walking any k's. I like you running. Oh, walk a k. Yeah, walk yeah. a k. Come on. Bro, you just went to Disney World. That's I'm... like walking so many k's. Yeah, but that's walking with a purpose. I don't walk just to walk. Why would I do that? I mean, people walk to work. Anyhow, let's get started with Any, this game. I can't walk here. It's yeah. far. Okay. Anyhow. From my house. So this is the runner's edition, which means in each cup, not in each cup, but in a cup, there is baby powder, you know, for the chafing. Mm. Water, because Got you have it. to stay hydrated. Sun sunscreen to block the sun rays. Gatorade electrolytes and body armor for some more electrolytes. Extra electrolytes. Extra electrolytes. And it looks like we got some ice in there too. Good. Ice, yes, ice. Yes, for, and some ice. For muscle recovery. Exactly. Because, you know, when you run those 5Ks. Cool. So uh, this ping pong pour, I think, is going to work a little different. Instead of pouring it on each other, we have to drink whatever's left. Ugh. Sunscreen, baby powder, and food. Baby powder? Sunscreen, yeah. yeah. Is that healthy? Uh, uh, it's uh, not safe. Don't children. read it. Don't read it. Children. Don't read it. Don't look at the labels. Children, don't do this at home. Don't look. Don't do this at home, children. Yeah, this is in a controlled environment. Yeah. All right. Um, we're we're gonna play. We just throw these one at a time as fast as we can. You guys ready? And uh, whoever makes the most, right? Yeah. Once one person makes them all, whatever's left. Yeah. Okay. Here we Wait, go. Wait, once one person makes it, then we're done. The other person. No, no. Once no, one person no, makes no, them no. all. All you have to get. Like we just keep throwing at the same time. Yeah. Once okay. all six are made, it doesn't count if you knock it over. That was Josh's yeah. strategy. Just throw it at the cup. Yeah, that's not a thing. Please don't on me. All right, here now we go. Now I'm gonna try. <laughs> a ball in each cup. Okay. On your if mark. It, if it goes in and the cup falls over, it counts. Yes. But if it like hits the edge of the cup and tips it over, it doesn't count. Got it. Okay. Okay. On your mark. Don't pour this on me, please. Get set. Go. Oh. Oh, you almost tipped that. You don't have to bounce it. You know that, right? Yeah, just toss it. Just toss it in. Dude. That's my strategy. Don't knock them over onto me, though. I'm trying not to. Fix that. Oh back, my gosh. Though. Oh my gosh. Oh. Try All not right. to spill. Oh, oh, I, oh, right on your shirt. That was in though, that was in. That, that was, was in, in. That, was that, in. that counted, that counted. Okay, I made oh, that Oh, you spilled the sunscreen. Made oh, that oh, one. That's one, two, three. Made that one. <gasps> Four, oh my gosh, Tyler's on a roll. Oh. Julianne, you've got two cups. I'm trying Tyler, to get that sunscreen Tyler, you out when I drink the sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of pink pop. Okay, 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 pick up. Pick pink cover, pink cover. Go, 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 go. Uh, should I be nice? Just keep going, just keep going, Julianne. Just keep going. Gosh. Why am I missing them? <laughs> you made it in the sunscreen already. I did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? What am I missing? Oh, I made that one. You made that one already. You just gotta make the, Here, the body some, armor. Here, some more. I just have the body armor. You have the water and the body armor left. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going. Oh, oh, oh. oh shoot. Don't spill the body armor. I made it. I made it. <laughs> no. <We're> no. <laughs> that hit me. That hit me. <laughs> Dang. Well, there was a ball in here. Uh, Tyler wins this game again, regardless of what side he's it's, standing on. It's okay, on. it's okay. This She did so much better than Josh. Make sure whenever you see Josh, you tell him that Julianne did better than him at ping pong pour. Here you go. You can pour those into your mouth. Just mix, mix, mix the uh, body armor and the water. 
and just chug it. Yes, yeah, ooh, mix them, mix them. Yeah, Interesting, mix them. diluted peach mango oh, electrolytes. I, I'm actually really excited to drink oh, this. Okay, fine. All right, yes. cool. But drink it through your nose. <laughs> no. What, that's funny. That wasn't as good as I thought it would be. It wasn't? What does it taste like? I just wanted some Gatorade before I go off to worship because I'm gonna need to replenish my electrolytes. All right, good job, Julianne. Oh, All right, we'll see you guys later. Have fun in worship. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of service. Hey everyone, it's time for worship. This is a time to not worry about what others think or even how our voices sound. God loves hearing us give our hearts to Him in worship. Join me as we sing Let Go Together. Close my eyes and colors fly There's no hiding from your grace I can't deny your heart for mine In its unrelenting chase I was on the edge of deception Caught up in my own hesitation Until your love took over me so I let go and I let love Show me life like it's supposed to be In a way this here awaits us All the freedom I'll ever need Now I'm alive Oh la la, oh la la When I let go then I find life Oh la la, oh la la When I let go The higher way is calling me To a life unlike before The Father's heart is beckoning And I can't resist no more Lead me in the ways of devotion I don't wanna get caught in the motions My heart is only for you, Lord so I let go and I let love Show me life like it's supposed to be In a way this here awaits us All the freedom I'll ever need Now I'm alive Oh la la, oh la la When I let go then I find life Oh la la, oh la la When I let go La 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 When I let go then I find that So I let go and I let love Show me life like it's supposed to be an oasis here awaits us All the freedom I'll ever need Now I'm alive When I let go, then I find life When I let go, then I find life Our God is great, and I love telling Him how much He means to me through worship. Now we can continue praising Him by singing King of Glory. Let's sing. No 
worship Jesus together with each other and with our friends. We've got another worship song at the end, but for now, grab your Bibles, grab a seat, and get ready to learn with us. Hey everyone, my name is Pastor Jojo. I normally get to hang out with the younger kids, but today I'm super excited to be hanging out with you guys. We are in our second week of this 5K series. So, how many of you guys like running? Some of you like running and some of you don't at all. Personally, I absolutely love running. I love running deep in the mountains where there's no noise and nobody at all because that's where I feel the closest to God. But running takes a lot of practice, at least running super far does. Even if you don't like running, other things in life takes practice. We're learning about committing to practicing what matters most in life. Our memory verse for this month comes from 1 Timothy 4.8, which says, For physical training is some value, but godliness has value of all things. Holding promise for both the present life and the life to come, we are running in this race towards godliness and the eternal price that God has for us. We are practicing what it means to live a godly life. Last week, we learned that there are four things that we can practice, listening, praying, talking, and living. Today, we're going to be focused on the listening part, which can be really hard at times. Our bottom line this week is practice hearing from God. We can practice hearing from God in everyday circumstances, like when we exercise or when we do our homework. I know most of us do not look forward to doing that. Or when we go to bed at night so that we will be able to run our race even better. Jesus talks about this in the parable found in the book of Matthew. In chapter 7, verses 24 to 29, Jesus shares a parable about our foundation. It says this, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew, and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teachings, because he taught as one had authority, and not as their teachers of the law. I brought a rock and some kinetic sand to demonstrate this to you guys today. Here is our life. Yes, it's a lifesaver, but it's our life for today. If we hear what God says through his word, through our parents, yes, our parents, and leaders, and even our friends, we built our house 
on a rock, a solid foundation. Then the storm hits like this. This could look a lot different for a lot of us. To let you into my life just a little bit and to help us learn a little bit more about what storms can actually look like, I brought my kids with me to share some of their own stories and some of the storms that they have been through in their life. Instead of you guys just listening to me, my kids call me grandma, so instead of listening to me. All right, guys, come on in. We have Isaac. <laughs> then we have Elijah. And the biggest one that tries to be everybody's mom, <laughs> Faith. So guys, uh, what are some storms that you guys have been through in your life? And we'll start with Faith. Well, during quarantine and online school, it's been really hard and I've been struggling to keep my focus and my grades up. And so one day I had a bad grade that came in the mail. And her report card. And it wasn't the best. And it, so it's a D minus. <laughs> oh, it, it was, was a D, D minus, minus, guys. Uh. And it was really bad, especially since I got great grades before. And so it made me feel angry at myself and I was disappointed and it was really hard for me to understand that I got a D minus. It didn't feel real. Mm -hmm. It was really hard. That was a really great example. Uh, Elijah, share what storm you have been through in your life. Come stand right here though, baby. Okay. Okay. No, right there. And look that way. Yes. There you go. I was scared of the dog because there was a, this big monster that I that I was always scared of. Mm, so you're really scared to be in the dark? Yes. Sometimes were you in there by yourself? Yes. Because who would leave you? Isaac. Isaac will leave him. Isaac, what was one storm you have been through in your life? Once we went on a trip with our friends, we went. We were at the, a big lake. Um, one of all, uh, my friend's mom, she was driving a jet ski. Me, my friend, and my brother wanted to go on the raft. Was it a small raft or a really big raft? Oh, small, small raft. It a was, small raft? It could only like, fit two people. Then it, then she made a sharp turn. Did she we know how to drive a jet ski? No, I don't trust her with that. I oh, know he doesn't I, trust her at all anymore. I don't trust okay. her. Okay. And I'm scared of big lakes, lakes because I'm kind of scared of fish. Mm -hmm. And I was scared of something that will pull me down. Yep. Those are all some really great things. Uh, Faith. What was something Jesus was telling you in that moment, in that storm? I think that Jesus was telling me to quit slacking off and to keep on going and work harder. And I think he gave me something to motivate me because after I got that D, I worked harder and I tried really hard to raise it back up to a good grade. That's good. Uh, Eli. What was something you feel like Jesus was telling you in your storm of being scared of the yeah, dark? I had the cold she told my mom. Because you didn't want to tell me at first, huh? Yeah. And then you told me, and then what did we do? We confronted the monster. Tactile. We confronted the monster. What did we do? Say, come out. Did anything come out? No. No, you said no. like, no. Nothing came out. Did we kind of scream it loud? Yes. Yeah. And nothing came out, right? No, you said yes. like, monster, come out. Okay. Isaac, up. Ow. He disappeared, guys. All right, Isaac, what do you think Jesus was telling you through your storm? It's like, it's, I think it's because in jiu-jitsu, but no, it'd be the jiu-jitsu at the top. Not jiu-jitsu. What was something else? Uh, it's like uh, when you fall down. Uh, when I got off, I was, I was crying. I was so scared. We, there was a go call with me. Me, my mom, and my dad prayed. Then it's like when you get back up, the brand, the bandage was the prayer. By getting back up in my story, it's like I went back on the raft. So you were able to have the courage to get back in the water because yes. that's not what you wanted to do at first. Huh? There was a shallow one and I, there was a deep end and I still went in the deep end. So who gave you the courage to get back up? God and Jesus. Yep. Good stories, guys. So do you guys think that your life is built on the sand? Or a solid foundation? Yeah, solid foundation. foundation. What does a solid foundation look like? This. This. Hard and sturdy. Right, guys? But stand, if you, wait, if you do understand, this will happen. No, no, I have to finish the demonstrations. Not yet, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for sharing. It takes a lot of courage. If you guys see the kids on campus, say hi. 
All right, guys. Bye, Isaac. <laughs> Bye, Faith. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Eli. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys have an experience really harsh storms in your life, but most likely a lot of you have. It's great to remember that when the storms come and if we have been listening to what Jesus says and practicing it, then when we are building our house on the rock. If we build our house on the sand, things get messier. If we hear what Jesus says but forget it and don't put it into practice, then we are building our house on a super shaky foundation. And then it'll look like this. The sand just falls apart and your life that is up here, it just falls. We try to build our foundation on things of the world like popularity or money or clout. Don't even know what that is. And all of those things, we will crumble under the weight of storms. And if we look back at our passage for today, it says, Therefore, if everyone hears these words of mine and puts them into practice, is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Do you guys want to be wise? I know I do. It's better than being foolish, right? When we hear Jesus' words and puts them into practice, when we practice hearing from God, Jesus, we will be building our life on the rock, on Jesus. You might be going through some storms in your life right now. And the great thing is, Jesus gave us himself as the rock to build on, but he also gave us rocks in our own lives to lean on. Your parents, your leaders can be your rocks that you guys could also lean on in your life. What a better way to celebrate Mother's Day than to thank our moms or even our mother figures for being a rock of for us in our life. I really want to challenge you guys all this week. Ask your mom or your mother figure or even your leaders in your rooms what are some of the storms that they have been through in their life. Ask them about the times when they heard from Jesus and their lives were built more solid, solidly on the rock instead of the sand. I know they have a ton of stories that they would love to tell you all. Moms tend to have the best stories. Don't tell your dads. Practice hearing from God this week and ask those around you how they practice hearing from God so that we all can have a solid foundation in Jesus. Let's all pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for showing us what a solid foundation looks like. Thank you for giving us friends and families, moms and dads, and even our leaders in our rooms that we can lean on to know that we don't have to do life by ourselves. Help us to constantly lean on you when we are going through storms in our life and to praise you while we're doing it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, everyone. Listening is hard sometimes. You know, Tyler doesn't even know how to listen sometimes. Got a lot of earwax in these ears. But listening to God is even harder because he's not standing right in front of us like our friends or our family. But with practice, we can learn to listen to God when he speaks to us. And he can speak to us in so many ways, through worship, through others, and through his word. I wanna to listen to all that God has to say, and then on top of that, I wanna thank him for all that he does because he is such an amazing creator. And one way I can say thank you to God is through my offering. Our offering is just taking a small part of what God has given us and then giving back to him. You can talk to your parents or leaders about giving your offering today. <laughs> now it's time for one more worship song, so get up on your feet and sing with us. Let's go.
love worshiping with you all, and I can't wait to sing and dance and learn some more with you next week. Make sure to tell all the moms in your life Happy Mother's Day, and we cannot wait to see you all next time. But for now, we will send you into the week with one hope. One life. In, in Christ. Christ. Bye, friends. See ya. All right, everybody, it's mayonnaise time. I'm back to eat more mayonnaise because you invited more people, which is a good thing. But eating this amount of mayonnaise is not a good thing, but I'm gonna do it.